Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 17th of April. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give uh, an overview that we can all collectively uh, relate to. Of course, this week sees an enormous event with the solar eclipse, the first of the year, right on the last degree, which is a critical degree in astrology, 29 degrees Aries, the anoretic point, but squaring up with the mighty but tiny Pluto. What does that mean? We also have Mercury slamming on the brakes the next day on Friday through to the middle of May in the sector of everyday money. But actually Mercury forges a very constructive link this week with the feisty Mars, so I need to share that with you. But if you are uh, a returning a viewer, thank you so much for joining me once more. If you're new to my channel, it's great to have you with us. I'd be honoured if you'd subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. So let's just explore what we start this week. We have the Sun and we also have Jupiter and Chiron in the sign of Aries. And if you recall, right at the start of Aries season, we had a new moon. So what makes this week really notable is the second new moon in the sign of Aries in a month. So really rare. And Aries energy is about freshness. It's about initiation, drive. It's the start uh, zodiac sign. And it's where we really get things going. It's that germ germination energy. But sometimes that means a bit like the Fool card, we have to take a step into the unknown. But the other way that we can use Aries energy is to inject greater drive and fire, because of the fire nature of this sign, into ongoing plans. So it doesn't have to be a start plan. But because the sun moves on Thursday, immediately after the eclipse, into the sign of Taurus, joining up with, of course, Mercury, uh, the North Node and Uranus, I feel that whatever ideas we're germinating this week, they need to in some ways be ones that can then pretty immediately become more tangible. So it's not just about the thrust, it is about what we can actually uh, manifest into something more tan tangible and lasting. Where does Pluto fit into this? Well, I feel that there could be some pain with the gain. Because when the Sun and Pluto are squaring, as they are this week, within three degrees, we can get some growing pains. We could resist some change that we need to make, cling on to what we think is important to us, but somehow or another events can seem to have an impact on us which doesn't necessarily make it feel like we're in control because Pluto is a lot about control. So just be conscious of that. There are some complexities there. But if you would like to ascend above this Zodiac broadcast and understand what more serious astrology can do for you personally, if you give me three pieces of your birth data of time, date and place of birth, or if you only have your date and place, I can produce for you either my natal life roadmap report, which will help you to get a much more intimate understanding of the patterns that have played out in your life, but also work with them more closely future forwards. But both analyses, the second is based on the sun as the ascendant, but both these analyses can be complemented with 30% off with my 12 month personal forecast. Again, totally unique to you. And these can give you searing insights into when you make your moves. If you're someone who's really into YouTube videos, the solar package will work really well for you. If you have some sense of your ascendant and more serious astrology, stick to the standard package. But please see the link below for more. So Scorpio, your week commencing the 17th of April forecast sees your ruler Mars in your sister water sign of Cancer linking very productively to Mercury in your sector of relating. If there's someone that you're collaborating with or you're working with an advisor of some kind, I think it really can take a step forwards despite all the nerves that people can have with the Mercury retrograde. But of course it is a reality later this week and there could be some crosswires 
through to the middle of May, even to the end of May with the post-retrograde shadow. So relationships are going to come into focus from the solar eclipse on Thursday and the sun's arrival in Taurus, your opposite sign, where you already have Uranus in the North Node. So what to make of that solar eclipse? Well, I think it gives you an opportunity to think about the structure of your life. That's been a theme for the last four weeks. It can be a theme for the next six months. But I think it needs to work in terms of your collaborations as well as your own personal everyday routine. So how you link out to others is going to be important. For example, if you're someone who's really into getting fit, I think you could get some really great collaborations going. Maybe meet up with people in a fitness suite or a gym or a yoga club. And those relationships can actually become very important alliances for you. So Mercury retrograde can bring opportunities. It won't just bring glitches. Do try to see it positively. But for sure, the solar eclipse does clash with Pluto, your modern ruler, just in your fourth house of emotions. But because the eclipse itself is right at the end of the sixth house, of routines we need to see it as a kind of sixth seventh house so if there is a relationship issue that's not working so well for you it needs to be taught through and working on our listening skills is something that I think all of us should do for all of our lives and if you're someone who tends to be very rooted in what you feel is right or wrong and a bit black and white and a bit pugnacious in how you deliver information. And some Scorpios can be like that, I feel. I think what Mercury Retrograde is really asking you to do, along with the Sun, Uranus and the North Node, is to try to evolve in your relating style and bring the emotion of Pluto in your fourth house into the equation. So embrace emotion. Saturn's been encouraging you to do it, of course, over the last two and a half years, and it may have led to some really challenging uh, situations. But I feel that there is a growth opportunity with this set of influences this week. Please like, comment, or subscribe.